Let me see. <sighs> Thank goodness you're awake, or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. Never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Chisia. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <laughs> Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Chisha. And she's Yang Yang. Gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So you don't know why you're here, where you're from? Or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great. Let's go together. Rover, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a Resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a Resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have Resonators who can detect the formation of tacit. And they seem all nice and quiet here now. But you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my! Speak of the devil! forgotten everything wow watch me lead the charge next time no one messes What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, 
the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizya oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. is upon us. Rover, watch out! Strike from the shadows. Let me be your blade. Tempest! rushed over to protect you like a mo mm, See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. When you see a beacon... When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can... We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but if your terminals... Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? 
Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. We agreed to meet up around here, and she said she was off to collect some samples. Gosh, did she really go straight into the heart of a tacit field for that? Baiju wouldn't take such risks without careful consideration. Freshly formed tacit fields go through a dormant period. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. Let 
Let me be your blade. Deferent! Shape the Shapeless! Beating up! Swift and resolute. Sense your weakness. before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies. And every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Huanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover! Why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. Resonance ability quite like this. 
You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Could it be related to your lost memories? Can you recall anything now? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first Echo ever. Then they used the power of that Echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Please, Yang Yang, stop reciting that. I'm begging you. Oh my, it's taking me back to my school days when I had to recite pages and pages of them. Anyway, that's just a made-up legend, isn't it? Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover is like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, 
I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinzhou. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinzhou to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our Magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> Anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Panhua's restaurant. 